Hey guys, Jacob here from Venture Addicts. Welcome to part two of Premiere Pro tricks that I wish I knew when starting out. Simple tricks you may not know that people don't tell you about. Number one is a trick I just recently taught myself. I don't know if there's a name for it, but it's when you hold down control when adding effects. Let's say I wanted to add a constant power effect to my audio here. So if I went to audio transition, constant power, and I just wanted to put it on the right side like this, if I ever wanted to adjust it again, it would disappear because technically it's an effect for both of these tracks. Something I used to do was put the track on a different layer like this, and then I would add the effect and then I would drag it back up. And that way I could change this or change that and I wouldn't have to worry about it disappearing. I was curious to find out if you can hold down alt or shift or control to help it go to only one side and luckily enough the control button worked. So all you have to do is grab your effect and when you drag it over and hold down control you can see when I click on and off that it changes to a different color. So when you hold down control, you drop it, you can now move it around like this, move around that, whatever you want, it only applied to that right side. This also works with any video transition like cross dissolve. Just hold down control and you're good to go. Number two is something I learned pretty early on, but if you don't know it and you're just starting, this is a huge lifesaver. So let's say you're working with a bunch of clips like I have here and you want to get rid of some of the effects. So let's say I wanna get rid of the metric color here and here and here and so on. Instead of clicking on every single one and deleting the desired effect in the effect controls, you can just highlight all your clips or whichever ones you want. You can just hold down shift and select random ones, right click and go up to remove attributes. And here you can choose what you want to delete in bulk. So let's say I want to delete my Lumetri color, but I want to keep my positions and everything the same. I can just uncheck all these, hit OK, and you can see they turned yellow and they're back to a clean slate. Number three is more of a maintenance and a keeping tidy kind of trick. Sometimes I feel a bit cluttered when I open up Photoshop and I have all of these old files and then maybe I've played around with the preferences too much and I want to kind of change it back to a default as if I just installed it. You would go to general, hit reset preferences on quit, hit OK, hit OK, you would close it. And when I open it back up, you'll see that it's a blank slate and then all my preferences will also be returned back to a default. Let's say I wanted to do the same thing with Premiere. I wanted to get rid of all this in the beginning and then also clear up some of my preferences. If I went to general here, you'd see that there isn't a button to do the same thing in Photoshop. So what you have to do is hit OK, close all this. When you go back to open up Premiere, hold down Shift, Alt, or Shift Command on a Mac and keep it held down while you open Premiere. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to hold it down, but I just wait until I see the screen here. And just like that, you're back to a fresh slate and your preferences are back to normal. Number four, we're gonna talk nesting. So if you're not familiar with nesting, you're pretty much getting a certain amount of clips and putting them into their own project or own sequence. So back in the day when I used to nest something like this, I was always scared that it was permanently changed into a nested sequence like you see. But all you have to do is double click onto your nested sequence and you'll see it'll open up a new window with all the clips that you originally nested. And on top of that, let's say I was way further into the project and it was too late to control Z, control undo. I didn't realize that you can just go into the nested sequence, copy those clips, and then paste them back into the original sequence. So always remember you can technically unnest a nested sequence. And number five is a simple trick I use to play back my footage kind of in a loop just to review it a few times and make sure I like what's going on. So let's say I wanted to add this effect and I kind of wanted to watch it over and over again, see how I feel. Typically I just go a few frames before and after and hit I for in and O for out. Go up to this wrench here, turn on loop and simply hit play and just kind of watch it a few times over and over again, make sure it's to my liking. And once you're done, you can always hit Control Shift X and get rid of the in and out. So there's five more tricks that you may not know that I wish I knew when I started out. If you have any questions, 
comment below. You can always reach out to us on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thank you.